Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction. So this one is definitely, definitely not something that's usually on my list, but Patreon Black Gold threw it on here. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This is apparently Ritual Festival 2023. Uh, at least that a collection of themes, uh, multiple themes it seems to be, about three of them. I like getting thrown a curveball once in a while, and albeit I wasn't a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! kid, I did have a little bit of a phase of it, but I was more of like original anime slash Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and that's about the time that I jumped off the wagon. But I really don't know anything about Master Duel itself. I don't really play any of the games in any respect, but I do recognize the characters on screen in front of me, so maybe it'll have some stuff that I recognize thematically, but maybe not. Either way, let's find out, shall we? Let's go! Alright. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> this is gorgeous. What? <laughs> All of the good producers get stolen by mobile games, don't they? It's just like, hey, let's hire the best we can and not let anybody else have them. <laughs> it's very subdued so far, but I love the way it sounds. Ooh. Shifting tone a little bit. Go from bright and happy to a little bit more of like a latent power being built up. Some journey vibes. Ooh, blend them together. Dude, I can totally just vibe to this. <laughs> I think I might add this to my art playlist, actually. That section was giving me, like, Genshin Sumeru vibes. So... Whoop. Okay, we got kind of a motif being carried through. Higher energy, changing things around a little bit. Gotta assume this is just like a follow-up to the prior. A lot more energy being introduced to this one. I love the flute. <laughs> There's so much fun. <laughs> I really... I think what's throwing me off the most is I didn't expect this overall, like... Genre, if you want to call it that? This influence, musically? Love the rock sound underneath it, too. Great support with the power. Loving the light bongos in the back, too. Ooh, more bongos. This, this has no reason to be as good as it is. What? <laughs> Even more energy? Ooh, dark. We're going dark. All right, the big bad has shown up. It's time for the final battle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't expect, like, an intro song, a phase two, and now we've got third and final phase. What is this game? Isn't this a card game? <laughs> Why does it have boss soundtrack structure? I 
Ah, yeah! That's exactly what my brain wanted to hear. The way that those strings were patterned out was just exactly how my mind was wanting it to be. That's really satisfying. It's a show of a great composer, too. Writing to the expectation of a listener. Lots of movement on the strings. And there's that. Wow, okay, that. I. Yeah, it's gonna loop, but man, I didn't expect it to be done that fast. Who would have thought that a pachinko company could make such good music? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For real though, that was a great composition. It held a thematic constant, a motif all the way through pretty well. They obviously changed the energy of each one because you have to be able to ramp that up according to whatever you're doing in the game. But they also kind of messed around with the motif a little bit, especially in the last one. There was less of the motif from the first part, but I think they were borrowing more from the second phase, which does again make sense in the natural progression of the songs. I was not expecting the bongos being thrown in there. I love the flute. It's one of my favorite instruments in general. Wood flutes or bamboo flutes uh, worldwide are some of my favorite sounds. They're just so airy, breathy, and they just take you on a journey to a land you never anticipated visiting. And I love the sound of them no matter what they're in. They always nail that vibe for me, and I just enjoy the absolute hell out of them. This was just really fun to experience a game that is based off a card game, which I'm pretty sure this is probably some sort of like a digital version of Yu-Gi-Oh. Having this sort of like a boss music structure, which I don't figure would make sense, but I suppose depending on the context it would. Either way, beautiful track. I'm adoring how this sounds. This is a very well constructed series of songs for a Yu-Gi-Oh game. And I know that shouldn't matter considering the usual content I do is all mobile game stuff and I have the same reaction to that, but there's definitely a separation between like a gacha game that's designed to make money so you know that they want you to spend money on it. So if you make all of the uh, production around it amazing, that's gonna make people spend more time there. And I assume that this is probably the same concept being brought to this, is that they just hired somebody who knew what they were doing, how to get a sound that was contagious, that you wanted to listen to on a regular basis. This song has like, what, 24,000 views on it? Only five months old on this upload this is an insane ratio for what i never would have assumed would have been a game with music like this and it's 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 a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh game what more can i say it's it's really interesting to see that i love that i love honestly the support that studios give to these sorts of projects because they deserve it and i love that they put in that effort even though konami the pachinko company doesn't really make games anymore quote unquote they still try or at least they tried not to and realized it was a bad idea but that's into gaming news and that's not what this channel is point being i'm still salty uh it's Silent Hill. Why did it take you a decade? I digress. Anyway, <laughs> but all in all, this was a beautiful set of compositions. I don't know who worked on it. They said in the description here that it's an unknown author, but likely composed by Yasunori Nishiki, which sure, I don't know who that is. It's a new name to me. If the rest of this game has this quality of music to the composition, please like send me more. This is actually surprisingly cool. And I would love to hear more where I can actually break it down. Now that the initial like shock of it being a Yu-Gi-Oh project is kind of wearing off and I'm getting more into my usual phrasing, this is just sick as hell. It sounded really cool. And I want to see more of it without that initial shock that a Yu-Gi-Oh game made something like this. And if you have any of those songs that you want me to listen to, by all means, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best. Usually stuff like this, that's a little lower on the totem pole that was just kind of a random suggestion from a patron doesn't tend to get too much attention so i'm not sure if i'm going to get a lot of comments but if anyone has any by all means drop them down below and i will see what i can do and otherwise if you liked me 
being confused about this more than anything else. I didn't really think I did too much like dissecting of this song, but I think I was just so thrown off by the Yu-Gi-Oh part. Uh, if you want to see more videos in a similar vein, my channel is full of them. So if you want to follow me and support me, you know how to do all that. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!